I'm with uh, Will Perrin of Talk About Local and Alex Delaney of the Media Trust. Both organisations doing great stuff in the hyper-local field, but uh, these different tribes don't always collaborate. But you have a new get-together. What's it about, Will? Uh, well, we uh, talk about local have spent many years working with people on the ground to develop hyperlocal websites, and we convene events like this uh, lovely unconference every year to bring people together to talk. And um, our um, hardly deep and hardly scientific finding over that time is that there are so many communities in Britain uh, that there's no one right way that will serve everybody. It's simply a logical nonsense to say that there can be a particular method for doing hyperlocal sites across the country. So in the last year or so, we've turned to a philosophy that says, um, let's not just let a thousand flowers bloom, but let's actually help people with all sorts of different platforms, services and approaches. Um, and that's what we try and do on a, on a, across a broad front. So we thought we'd um, team up with the Media Trust and the Newsnet product to see if we can help them. Uh, Media Trust background in profession, very much in professional media and quite um, what you might call sort of hard-edged um, uh, TV and radio stuff. How can we bring some of this community-based hyperlocal flavour to bear on that? And then, quite cynically, in fact, because they have resources to do this, help them create a permanent resource that will help the communities we're, we're um, used to working with through the Newsnet product. Um, well, yeah, we're obviously completely delighted to be working with Talk About Local, and I think it's about for us it's about harnessing the lessons um, that Will and his team have, have, have sort of um, have created over the last sort of how many years? Uh, three or four years now. Yeah, okay. So, so it's really about harnessing those skills. And, and as Will says, you know, we've um, you know, got, this, got this money, we've got this uh, project, which we think is a really uh, fantastic tool and resource we want the hyper-locals to use. Um, and so we really feel that working together is absolutely the best way to achieve the uh, you know, great outcomes for the hyper-local community, really. And... Uh so, um, Alex, what's the um, next developments on Media Trust? I uh, know from the update that Gavin Shepherd gave me the other day, there's quite a few things cooking. Yeah, lots of things happening. Lots to do with the community channel and the community newswire. And then on uh, Newsnet itself, um, we're, um, uh, we've got a channel out to the, to the mainstream press if people want to do that. So I think there's lots and lots happening uh, on Newsnet. And obviously, we'll continue to develop and listen to what people are interested in, 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 in doing with it. So um, just one last thing. One of the things we've, we've done here is um, help introduce Alex today to people who run hyperlocal sites and just say, well, how could you help? And we had this, had this lovely chat with um, Annette, who both you and I know, David, at W14. And we said to Annette, well, what would you like help with? How could an online service help you with your stuff? And she just said, everything. I need help with everything because I'm not a technologist, but I'm running this uh, community of 1,200 people. I need help. And where can I go to get it? I, I can't pay for it. Um, and so some source of free help and advice would suit her right down to the ground. So we'll sit down with Annette and then work through what sh someone like her might need for Newsnet. And we'll sit down progressively with other sites and try and work out um, who we can attract in to be sort of beacon sites to help others, but also just do some ba a bit more customer research with hyperlocal sites to work out what they want from a help service like Newsnet.